Hello, I'm Tim Monville, and I'm a senior air safety investigator with the National Transportation Safety Board's Eastern Region. I'd like to talk with you about something that can be overlooked, the condition of an aircraft's ignition switch and key. At the NTSB, we recently investigated an accident in which the undetected worn ignition switch and or key resulted in unintentional brief starting of the engine that fatally injured the pilot. The key was in the pilot's pocket. The NTSB has previously investigated accidents in which the worn ignition switch and or key resulted in either uncommanded engine starting or serious injury after the engine momentarily started uncommanded. The common theme in these accidents is that the ignition key could be removed from the ignition switch in several positions other than the off position. And while ignition switches and keys are designed to only be removed in the off position, this condition may go undetected. In a scenario in which the pilot or mechanic were to pull the key while rotating toward the off position, the key may come out when the switch is between the right and off positions, rendering the right magneto ungrounded or hot. And that scenario could result in starting of the engine by slight rotation of the propeller, either by a pilot as part of a pre-flight inspection or mechanics during maintenance. So what can you do as a pilot or mechanic? Pilots and mechanics should always assume that a magneto is in an ungrounded condition and proceed with caution when around any propeller. You should also be aware that aging aircraft can be more susceptible to worn ignition switches and additional vigilance may be necessary to detect and resolve this safety issue. Pilots, be sure to verify the integrity of your ignition switch to key connection to ensure that the key can only be removed from the ignition switch in the off position. If the key can be removed at any position other than the off position, repair or replace the switch. Mechanics should maintain vigilance when inspecting the integrity of the ignition switch to key connection and repair or replace it if needed. Remember, you are the first line of defense in identifying safety issues. 